subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Malayan Tiger. Hero, where are you, Hero? <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, Hero. Let's see who's stronger. I challenge you to a game of tug of war. <laughs> you take this end of the rope, and I'll take this end. The first one to pull the flag past their line wins. Ready, Hero? And go! Not bad, Hero, but I'm not gonna lose. <gasps> what? How? <laughs> What are you? Are you some kind of cat? Those are some beautiful stripes on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, kitty. Hi, Katie. Did you find more information about the cub? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cub you found is a Malayan tiger. A Malayan tiger? Does that mean it comes from Malaysia? That's right. To be specific, Malayan tigers come from the forests of the Malayan Peninsula in Southeast Asia. But they can also be found in Southern Thailand. I see. So what do Malayan tigers eat? Like all tigers, Malayan tigers are meat eaters. They usually feed on deer, wild boar, and sun bears. But when there isn't enough food, Malayan tigers sometimes attack people and farm animals. Because of this, many tigers are illegally hunted by people. Tigers are also hunted for their body parts, like their skin. This illegal hunting is the reason why Malayan tigers are critically endangered. That means Malayan tigers are very in danger of disappearing forever. Ever. There are only about 250 Malayan tigers left in the wild. Oh no! We should protect Malayan tigers so they'll still be around in the future. You're right, Leo. But a tiger cub needs to be with its mother so it can learn how to hunt and get milk to grow. Only its mother can protect the tiger cub. Then let's bring the tiger cub back to its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots of love. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a Malayan tiger cub. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring the tiger cub back to its mother. That's great, Leo. But you must be careful not to get close to adult tigers. They might mistake you for prey and attack. Oh, dear. We'll be super careful, Ranger Rocky. What else should we know about Malayan tigers? A mother Malayan tiger usually has one to five cubs. These cubs stay with her for a year and a half before leaving to find their own home. During the time with their mother, the cubs will learn how to hunt and stalk prey. If you want to find the cub's mother, you should keep a lookout for places with tall grass. Tigers prefer to live in tall grass, where they can hide from predators and ambush their prey. Good luck and stay safe, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. We're here. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to look for the cub's mother in the tall grass. We won't be able to see her coming. What if we look for the cub's mother from up there? Good idea, Katie. Come on, everybody. Let's fly. Tiger Cub! 
cub. Oh no! The tiger cub jumped into the tall grass. We have to find it. Where did the cub go? Leo, could the tiger cub be in there? Or maybe it's over there. The tiger cub might be in one of the grass patches, but we can't go into the grass to check. There might be predators in there. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use this. Great idea, Leo. Let me try it. Tiger cub. I got you, little one. We did it. We found the tiger cub's mother. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a Malayan tiger cub in our garden. We learned that Malayan tigers are endangered and that tiger cubs need their mother to be protected. So we went to the forest and brought the tiger cub back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Eastern Spotted Skunk. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes, it's in. Woohoo! Let's get the ball, Hero. What? Ah, what's this? You brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off. But the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we better be careful with the skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm, we should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an eastern spotted skunk with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It came out of a hole in our garden. It returned my golf ball. Perhaps the skunk thought your golf ball was food. Skunks are scavengers, which means they eat anything they can find. They eat fruit, worms, eggs, leaves, you name it. Their favorite prey, however, are insects and rodents. That is why they can be important for farmers. Eastern spotted skunks eat insects that feed on farmers' crops. They also help farmers get rid of pests, like rats and mice. 
I didn't know skunks can be so useful. Ranger Rocky, we want to find a suitable home for the skunk. Do you know what we should look for? You should take it to a place with shelter. So a place that protects them from bad weather and danger. Eastern spotted skunks like to live in burrows, tree holes, and hollow logs, and sometimes inside and under buildings. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ah, my hat! I'll get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. Katie, there's a coyote on your side. <gasps> nice coyote. Katie! Get away from my sister! At least it got away from Katie. Chase the coyote away. <laughs> Ew, it stinks. Good work, Skunk. Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, Skunk. Goodbye, skunk. We did it. We found a home for the eastern spotted skunk. Good work, everybody. Yay! Yay! an eastern spotted skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The honeybee. Everybody, my name is Leo. I'm a junior ranger, and this is my puppy Hero. It's a perfect day for a picnic. We have chocolate cookies, cakes, apples, and bananas. And look, I even have your favorite doggy snacks. Not so fast, Hero. We have to wait for Katie. Let me call her. A bee. Hey, don't go near the cakes. Hero, careful. You're knocking over all the food. I wonder where it came from. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees, but this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? 
That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces, like hollow trees. Hmm, if we want to have a peaceful picnic, we should bring this honeybee back to its beehive. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the forest. Ah, is that a honeybee? Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are trying to bring him back to his beehive. Not him, Leo. This is a female bee. It's a she. This is clear from her yellow stripes. And all worker bees are female. Worker bees are responsible for gathering nectar, building the honeycomb cells, feeding the babies, Tending to the queen bee... There's a queen? Yes, the queen makes all the baby bees. It has a longer body and smaller wings. The male bees, also known as drones, are rounder in shape and have bigger eyes. These drones only have one job, which is to help queen bees from other beehives make babies. The drones don't have a sting like the female worker bees do. A uh, sting Honeybees only sting if they feel their beehive is in danger. These hard-working creatures just want to protect their colony. Where can we look to help this honeybee find her colony, Ranger Rocky? Hmm, bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers. Perhaps you can start looking for those. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Here we are at the flower field. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work. But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. That was close. Oh no, where's the honeybee? The jar is gone. It's the honeybee. She's hiding in a honeysuckle flower. Come in, honeybee. We'll make sure we stay far away from those wasps. Goodbye, bee. We did it. We found the beehive of the honeybee. Yay! We found a honeybee in our garden. We learned that honeybees have workers, a queen, and drones, and that they make honey. So we went to a forest and found a tree with a hollow that contains a hive. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.